But no, guys, welcome to videos of Akali Tutorial. Thanks for watching our videos online. Please welcome to subscribe. Please do not press the subscribe button and notification bell. Now to our updates on this YouTube channel. Thank you and God bless you. Amen. Today we will be considering what? 2023 chemistry practical, specifically under the first question known as volumetric analysis. And this time around, we are given what? We are given A to be what? To be A to be the what? The acid, which is hydrochloric acid. And our B is an hydrated salt. Salt that can absorb water or what? Crystallization. And hydrated salt, which is what? Sodium trioxocarbonate for decahydrates. Decahydrate. So that's our what? Our B. So we are given an hydrochloric acid and we are given what? B, which is what? Which is sodium trioxocarbonate for decahydrates. Now, this will not come like this in the exam. Like the B will, have, will come in form of what? In form of sodium trioxocarbonate for X decahydrate. So we need that all this thing will be replaced with what? With X. So there is possibility that we'll be asked to what? To determine the value of X, which is the what? Which is the number of water of crystallization in the what? In the experiment. So the essence of this experiment or the essence of this why questions other volumetric analysis may be to determine the water of crystallization, the value of X, that's the number of moles of water of crystallization, and the percentage of water of what crystallization. So in this class, I'm going to be teaching the students on the possible question you are going to get in this world, in this coming work, and the practical will be uploaded before Thursday by Growth Space, probably next week by Monday, we are today is Sunday already, so by Monday you should see the real practical, but this has been practicalized and we've come to what? To the conclusion that the question will look like this when you are doing it on Thursday. So we are going to be considering what? This question now by doing it together. So now we have the question before us who says A is a a is 0 0.05 mole per dm cube of HCl. Why B? Don't forget, we are told that A is A is 0 0.05 mole per dm cube of HCl. So A is 0 0.05 mole per dm cube of HCl. That's our A. Now. Our B is a solution containing 2.5 gram of Na2CO3 dot AXH2O. Don't forget, this is 2.5 gram in 5 rice extractive, but in the instruction, we are given 5.0 gram of this sodium child carbon for a 1000 extractive. Don't be what? Don't be confused. Even though we are given what? 5 grams in 1000 kg. We can we just divide this one by 2 and divide by 2 we get 2.5 grams in 500 centimeter kg. Or the question can come in form of 1.25 in 250 centimeter kg. Don't worry about that one. It's still the same thing. They just express the word, the gram and volume in terms of different ratios. They will not, they might not, might not see 5 gram in 1000 centimeter cube directly in that exam. You might see it in 2.5 in 500 centimeter cube, or you might see it in what? In 1.25 gram in 250 what, centimeter cube. So it's still the same thing. You are still going to get the same what? Thing. By the time you solve this, you are going to arrive at 510 gram per dm cube that was inside the word instruction. So, instructional guide. So now we have. We have 2.5 gram of sodium trioxocarbonate for X hydrate. X hydrate. So we have B to be what? Na2CO3 dot XH2O. Now it does not just what? It's not just N2CO3 XH2, but 
2 gram, we have 2 gram, which is having what? Mass 2 gram, mass 2 gram, 2.5 gram. And there was the absorbed in volume of solution V. Look at it, the volume of solution V equals to what? 500 what? centimeter what? cube. I'm just trying to write out the words. The parameters are very, very essential here. We are looking at Na2CO3 dot SH2 was dissolved. The mass which was dissolved is 2.5 gram in volume of what? 500 centimeter cube of water. Now, it means that so this one was weighed on the weighing balance, 2.5 gram, and was dissolved in 500 centimeter cube of, of distilled water, according to this question. But when you are preparing your solution, you are going to dissolve what? You are going to dissolve 5 gram in 1,000 centimeter cube. It's still the same thing. So, that has got about that. So, as far as this question is concerned, this is all we are given. And this is what we are working with. So, now, from here now, we are given the procedure. Put A in the bullet, which is the word, the titration procedure. We are going to put A in the bullet. For those who that don't know how bullet looks like, I'm going to do the real practical, but let me just give you an hint. So this is what bullet looks like. This bullet, it marks from what? From 0 0.250 to yen centimeter what? cube. They have 0 centimeter what? cube. So you are going to clamp this what? This bullet on what? On the retort what? Stand. So what are you going to do? You bring your what? Retort stand there. Just let me quickly explain the what the procedure. Bring your retort stand here. So then you clamp this. This bread. So you clamp it. Then after you clamp it, you fill in your A. You will give them with your phone. You will give them A inside the reagent bottle. This is how the reagent bottle look like. Is that reagent bottle look like reagent bottle? So we will be given inside that reagent bottle. Whether well, one looks like this. This is B. A will contain acid and B will contain what? Base. So you will be what? You feed in what? A. Put A inside what? Inside the bullet. So after you clamp the bullet, you put it inside the bullet. Then, after you have put it inside the bullet, after fixing that, we are hard to what? To put it into the bullet and titrate it against 20 centimeter cube or 25 centimeter cube portion of B. Now, how do you measure 25 or 20 centimeter cube of what portion of B? It is the pipette given to you that we use to pipette B. So, what's the pipette? Pipette come in. Two volumes. It can be 25, it can be what? 20. But as far as this class is concerned, we are using the standard one, which is 25. Both are standard, but the common one is 25. So now we are using 25. So whichever the one you are using in your class or in your school, make sure you note it. So you take note of it, it's very, 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 very important. And how do you find out? Just check the what? The this is how bullet look like. So check here, you will see 25 centimeter of cube. Around this corner, you see 25 centimeter cube. So this pipette is what? 25 volt centimeter of cube. So you use this pipette to bring out base. You pipette with your mouth or with suction ball. So this is your base here. You pipette, you bring your, you pipette, you draw in your base. Then you put it inside the what? The conic what? Flat. After you pipette, you transfer to the what? Conical flux. You pipette to what? You pipette using your pipette. Then you take it to what? The conical flux. Then after you take it to the conical flux, then we have your indicator. There's something we call indicator. We have indicator. You can watch one of my videos on titration so as to have better understanding our give you the link below to this diagram so now here yeah, this is your indicator you have two drops maximum of what two drops 
of what? Of indicator inside your after you have put your base, you include your what? Your two drops of what? Indicator. Then the color we are likely to see here is going to be what? Yellow initially. It's going to be yellow initially. So after you see yellow color, then you now bring it here. So, and after you bring it there, then you remove, make sure you remove the funnel. Remove the funnel after what? After filling. Remove the what? Funnel. Remove. Remove the funnel. Remove funnel after filling up. Remove funnel after filling up. So, after you have removed funnel after filling up, which is there, then you bring it out. You bring, let me clean it. So, after I have removed it, like that. So, now you now bring the conical flask containing the word the base weight indicator then you begin to run you begin to run your what your acid until you see change in color this change in color is going to what change in color here is going to be orange so it's going to be changing from yellow to orange so from red to orange, and if you look at it very well, you perceive it very well. Now, when you increase what it's going to give you a rough title between 17.5, between the age of 17 to 18, rough title between the age of 17 to 18, if every other thing is considered. So, if this is the exactly constitution you produce according to what it's going to give you what, although there are very variations, there's no, there is no specific what volume of an acid you use. your own volume of an acid use depends on the word the center you have so don't copy the volume of an acid use that i'm going to be using in this class and say that's the word that's what i'm going to use in this no use the volume of an acid use in your center because you are going to be marked by the volume of an acid used by the teacher in your center for that center so please and please take note of that but you can have that in mind so that you will be able to get something close to that center or exactly what they are using that center to do your what? calculation so please note that so here i'm going to be using what my rough title to be what to be 18. let me say the first one that i carry out which is the rough title is 18. 18 is 18. so i'll quickly drop that one here i'll manage to join this one yeah so please follow me carefully so we have we have the table of reading and before we move on always remember that the volume of pipette must be what recorded which is the volume of pipette use some of the volume of the pipette was used volume of pipette volume of the pipette use The pipette use in centimeter cube. Now, note that the volume of the pipette use is same as the volume of base use because we use pipette to, what, to suck the base to withdraw, to, withdraw, to withdraw the base from the what, from the B. It's same time so, so the volume of the pipette use is same as the volume of the base, which is the VB equal to 25 centimeter cube. So your VB is 25 centimeter cube. If it is 20 that you use, your VB is 20. Please note that. It's very, very important. Now, after you've written the volume of, an, of the pipette use on the table, on the table, then you are going to divide this whole table into columns. Into columns. Make sure you have columns. This is column 1, column 2, column what? 3. So, so now we have column one, column two, column three, column one, column two, column three, column four. Now here we have going to have what? Burette reading. Burette reading. Please follow me. Centimeter what? Q. Burette, burette reading centimeter what? Q. It's very, very important. Burette reading centimeter Q. Then followed by the rough title. So make sure your own diagram is big. I'm just using the word the board. So we have what we have the first the rough the rough title the first title and what 
and the second title. So put title here, second title here. So I want you to see the whole experiment. So be right reading the sentence Q, rough title, first title, second title. Now we have what? We have now the next row here with the word final. Final bullet was reading, or you can just write final reading. Okay, final bullet reading. We have what? Initial bullet reading. Then the volume of A used, which is the acid in centimeter cube. Very, very important. So, the volume of the pipette used is P B the burette reading, the rough, first, and the second. You can make your own thought, but I would advise you to save your time, use first and second title. So, now the rough and happy here, the initial, you know, I told you this is from 0 to 50. So, if my initial is 0, Initial breathing is 0, 0. And I'm having my rough to be 18.00. So my volume here will be what? 18.00. So now, because of this is my rough, rough is just to give you a clue of where the volume of an acid lies or the volume of A lies. So when I have the clue that it's going to be around 18, so I will be stepping down my what my release of what acid into this conical flask when i'm performing the what the what the first type that i will i will step down a little bit when it is 16. so, so that i will be dropping the what the acid stepwise when i'm carrying on the first type that. so because i have the knowledge that what the volume of an acid lies around 18. so when i get to 16 i'm going to drop the what the acid Drop wisely until I see the color change from yellow to orange to a light orange because you must get a light orange. So now, by that, because this is 18, I must have my words. This one around 7.50 or 17.50, 17.60, 17.70, and so on and so forth. So, so 17.50, I write 17.50. So now, 0. Word. This has been practicalized. I'm not just saying this, it has been practicalized and I'm going to what, upload it very soon. So, 0.50 0, 0 .0 is the initial because I fill this thing back again. I did not use it from here. I fill in the acid again to zero mark so as to not convince myself in terms of subtraction. So, now 17.50 minus 0, 0 is going to give over 17.5. Zero. So I still feed the acid again to get my second title into zero mark. So my initial is zero mark. So when I carry out, I have 17.540. So just know that your, your difference should not be zero more than 0 0.1 to 0 0.2, but I advise to get, stay between 0 0.1, difference of 0 0.1. So it's not you use 17.50. Or use 17.40 and 17.50 or 17.50 17 17.60. Just stay within the limit of what of that 0 0.1. So this one is 17.40. 17.40. So that is that about the table of the value. So please note that it's very very essential you note this. So that is that about the procedure. Now we have calculate the what the title values now. You said you should calculate your result, you have done the calculation of your result. Then the next thing is to what? Calculate the average volume of acid use. Calculate the volume or the average volume of acid use. Calculate the average volume of acid use or A use. So acid here represents what? Is used, is represented by what? A. So how do you calculate the average volume of A use? Now, Look at this. You use concordant values to calculate average volume of acid. You can see this is concordant because the difference is 0 0.1. So that's why they said 
to obtain consistent, look at what consistent, that is concordant value, value that are very old, close. So 17.50 and 17.40 are the concordant value. And I'm going to add them together because I'm using two value divided by two. If this three value you are using, you add them together divided by what three. So now I want to do all of my calculation here and I'll rub up this one. So I'm going to manage this space, please bear with me. So we have what? We have the average volume. Average volume. Okay, it's equal to force plus second tie tie divided by what? 2. So that's how you are going to get it. Average volume is equal to force plus second tie tie. Then divide it by what? 2. So when you add this one, this and this together and divide by 2, you are going to get 17.45. So you can do your calculations. So average volume, which is same as VA. So know that the average volume is same as what well, volume of acid was used. Do you get that? The average volume is same as volume of an acid used. So which is 17.50 plus what? 17.40 divided by 2. So when you divide it by 2, when you divide it by 2, you get 17.45 centimeter cube. Can, can confirm it with your calculator. Have my calculator here because you cannot do without using what calculator in that exam, especially in chemistry practical. So now 17.50 plus 17.40 divided by 2 gives give us 17.45 centimeter what, cube. So that's that about the what, the whole procedure in carrying out the experiment and how you can get the what the Volume of an acid, what you use the name this is the same as average volume of a use. So now, with this, now I'm going to clean up this. So, these are table, please note that. So, we have volume of an acid use to be what we have volume of an acid use to be 17.45. So, we have to quickly write that. Volume now, our information now has now increased. We have volume of base, which is the volume of type A, volume of base, which is the B. Volume of base, which is the B. Although we didn't call it what base, but we know it's base. So we can also call it volume of base or volume of B. It's a center key, which is equal to the same as what volume of base B, which is VB equal to what? Volume of base B, which is VB equal to 25 centimeter cube. 25 centimeter cube. So, what am I listing out the word? What I'm writing out the words, the information that you have obtained or that you have used for the experiment. So, now we have what? Volume of A use, which is the acid of acid A use. I'm just trying to familiarize you what we do with the the con the term VA, which is what the volume of acid A use VA is equal to twenty equal to seventeen point four five centimeter cube. So I will know that now let's go back to our questions. We have this is the information that we obtain from the table the one given from the word from the question. We have to do that. Tabulate your result if you have done that. Capital average volume of A you should have done that. The equation for the reaction is this. Now the equation of the reaction is this. We are given B. This is B, always note that. This is B. It doesn't matter the way they arrange it, just know which one is A, which one is B. That's the most important thing from the question. So B is is written first here. So we have B first. Then we have what? A. It's very, very important. So this is B and this is A. Then they said sodium W4X hydrate plus what? Plus ACL to give us sodium chloride plus what? Carbon plus X plus 1 H2O. Now, the most important thing about this equation is the number of moles of B and number of moles of what? A. 
that is the mole ratio by which they react. So we need this for the calculation. So write it out. We can write number of moles, number of moles of B, which is N small letter B, which is equal to N B is what? Look at this. The coefficient of this one is one. The coefficient of this one is one. So this one is one. Why? The other one will be number of what? Of moles of A, which is N A, which is equal to what? What is the moles here? That is two. We have two. So I'm writing this out so as to what? List out your parameters here so that you know what? You will not get confused. Now, from the result and the information provided, you see, we are written out the information provided. Calculate the concentration of B in mole per dm cube. Calculate the concentration of B in mole per dm cube. Now, when you come to these questions, that is, is like calculate the concentration of B in mole per dm cube. For those who are not familiar with what concentration is, there are two types of concentration. I repeat myself. I quickly brush through that. There are two types of concentration. One, we have two types of concentration. Just know that. A two types of concentration. Concentration are of two types. Number one, concentration in mole per dm cube. 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 This one also known as what? Molar. Molar concentration. Molar concentration. Please know that. Concentration in mole per dm cube. Concentration that is measured in mole per dm cube. This one as what? Molar concentration. Why concentration that is measured in gram per dm cube? This one as what? Mass concentration. Concentration that is measured in gram per volume. When you have gram per volume, it means what? It means mass concentration. When you hear more per volume, it means molar concentration. And this what? This concentration, this type of concentration have different formula. For instance, now more for instance, molar concentration. I will just quickly run through the formula. Molar concentration can be calculated by two formula. Number one. By thing formula, they are by thing formula. Number one, molar concentration can be calculated using can be calculated using mole over volume. So molar concentration can be calculated. Molar concentration can be represent with what? Molar concentration. This is also mass concentration. And let's see. The first formula is mole. Mole over what? Volume. Please note that. And the volume here must be in dm cube. So meaning that you are going to take, if you are given centimeter cube, you are going to take it what dm cube. So this one is in what in mole. So another thing is that if you are not given mole, you have to calculate that what you want to derive your mole. If you are not given mole directly, mole itself is mass over molar mass. So don't be confused when you don't see mole sometimes. It can be given in terms of mass, which have to be obtained from the mass and the molar mass of that substance. If the information has, is given to you in the question. So that's the first one. The second one is, please follow me. The second one is when molar concentration can be obtained when, when you use mass cock. This mass cock all over molar mass. Mass cock all over molar mass. The first formula is mole over volume. The second formula is mass cock over molar mass. And the third formula is what we call the C A V A over C B V B equal to N A over what N B. This is the third formula. This formula is for molar concentration, not for mass concentration. It's formula. So this is concentration of A in mole per dm cube. This is concentration of B in mole per dm cube. This is volume of A used. You can see. This is volume of B used. This is number of moles of an acid. This number of moles of bits is very, very what essential. You know this formula. So these are the three formula for calculating molar what concentration. There are three formula for calculating molar concentration. And don't forget concentration of a substance in mole per dm cube is called molar concentration.
So, meaning that if I want to solve this form question now, constitution of B in Mopa DMK, I'm going to use any of these words three. Then I use this, this, and this. But the problem now is I can't make use of this mode over volume. Why? Because I did I cannot get the mode because this B contain unknown. It contain unknown. So I cannot use more over volume. As well as I cannot use max constitution problem because this B contain unknown. You cannot calculate the mass of a compound which has unknown X, unknown number of moles of of water of crystallization. You cannot calculate the molar mass. So this make these two formula obsolete. You cannot use it. So we have to resolve in using what this. We have to resolve in using this. So out of these three formula, the one that is applicable for this kind of question, question of B in Mopadia is C A B A over C B B B equal to A A. So which one we are using this one now? So I'll claim with this one. I'll claim this. So I'll claim this. So I'll also claim this. So don't forget we have to have concentration, polar concentration and mass concentration. I just talked about what polar concentration and we decided that what one of the formula that can be used to tackle this molar position of B in more by DNK is C A V over equal to what A over N B. So I'm using what using what now to calculate the concentration of B now in more by DNK. Concentration of B in more by DNK. We now be what we use what we can now use what C A V A over C B V B. Because N A over N B. So now C A B over C B B equals N A over N B. Now what's your C A? What's your C A? Your C A is your C A is all your C A now. Uh, C A is this. All your C A, C -A is zero point zero five. More per DMQ. Please know that the concentration of A is 0 0.05 more per DMQ. Look at this. This, this more per DMQ is one that justifies that CA is molar concentration. The CA given us is molar concentration. So more per DMQ, always not the units. So the CA, which is the concentration of acid in more per DMQ, is 0 0.05 more per DMQ. So you can easily write down here. So as to save our space. So C A C A is equal to 0 0.05 more per D L Q. Then C B is what we are looking for, is yet to be calculated. So C B is what we are looking for. So now from there now, substituting the all parameters that you get, we are going to say C A is 0 0.05 times VA, our VA is 17.45 over CB that we're looking for, CB times 25 equal to what's your FA? Your FA is the mode of acid use, mode of acid which is two from the what? From the chemical word reaction, you know, chemical equation. So that's why this is given. So the number of most of as it is 2, 2 over a number of more of base is what? 1. So, by doing your word analysis, which is what? 0 0.0 what? Multi cross multiply, we have what? CB times 25 times 2 equal to 0 0.05 times 17.45. Take it all by 1. This one is 25 times 5 times 2. It's going to give what? So, 50 CB. When you multiply this one together, 0 0.05 times 17.45. So we have what? Yeah, 0 0.8725. So divide also by 50 to get your CB. This one cancel out. So we have CB now, therefore, CB. You want to divide this one by 50. 
we have 0 0.01745 centimeter of Q. So if I approximate this one now, we are going to have 0 0.01745 centimeter of Q. Sorry, no centimeter Q will move by DMQ. Sorry for that. Move by DMQ. We are calculating concentration, so it's more by DMQ. More by DMQ. So now, so that's that about that. This that's about that. So we are going to use that now in calculation. So, so we've gotten our concentration of B in more by DMQ. The next thing is to get the concentration of B in gram per DMQ. The concentration of B in gram per DMQ. It can be this first and then this second. So it depends on the arrangement that you want to use. So this the concentration of B in more DMQ is this. Then the concentration in of what of B. Concentration of B in gram per what? DMQ. Now in gram per DMQ. Here also I was talking about question of B in gram per DMQ or question of any substance in gram per DMQ is the concentration of that thing in gram per DMQ. You measure the gram of that thing and you dissolve it in volume of the substance. That's why we call it gram per DMQ. So it can be calculated using two formula. We have mass over volume. The first formula for calculating this type of concentration, which is known as mass concentration, we can use mass over volume. Mass over volume, that is mass concentration, which is concentration in gram per DMQ is equal to mass all over volume. And also, we can also use the second formula, which says mass concentration equal to molar con times molar what? mass. So, but don't forget, B has no molar mass yet because there is what? X value yet. So, we cannot use mass con equal to molar mass times molar con. We cannot use it yet. So we are going to go with what mass over volume. Why? Because the mass has been given and the volume has been given. That's why I write, write it. Uh, this is where mass is 2.5 gram and the volume is what 500 centimeters. So we are going with what concentration in mass of what of being gram per day going on what the same as mass conch of what B. The same as mass conch of B, which is equal to mass over what volume. He said that mass concentration of B is called mass over volume. The mass is 2.5 and the what? The volume is 500 centimeter cube. Note that. So mass is, is 2.5. Volume gram. Volume is what? Is 500 centimeter cube. Note that it must be in DMQ. So we divide by 1000. Divided by 1000. So when you divide by 1000, you get to 0 0.5 dmq 0 0.5 dmq because it's 500 over 1000 so that is half 0 0.5 dmq so having gotten this you just use mass concentration of equal to mass over volume so therefore mass conch of b which is zeta as well this mass conch i'm using is zeta as concentration of b in more per dmq which is equal to is zeta as well mass over volume which is 2.5 2.5 all over 0 0.5 equal to 2.5 divided by 0 0.5 we have 5.0 now what do we do is gram per d a q so if you know, if you can remember, for the teachers in the house, if you can remember, you are asked to dissolve 5 grams in 1000 centimeter cube. So this, this is all we are getting again. 5.0 gram per DMQ. So the mass of B is, mass concentration of B is 5.0 gram per DMQ. So we have to calculate the concentration of B in gram per DMQ. We have to calculate the concentration of B in mole per DMQ. So note this, this, and then what? This, this, and this. They are very, very what? Essential. So we have done the two aspects of it. Let us quickly what? clean this off. So we can easily clean this one now. So I can have space.
So having done this now, the next question is to calculate what the molar mass of the molar mass of this. Now how do you calculate the molar mass of N2 N to CO3 dot H S H two O? So how do you go about that? So to calculate what the molar mass of N to CO3 dot X H two O is going to be what? Molar mass now of B. That is get the molar mass of B, which is seen as N A2 CO3 dot X H two O. Don't forget, can be obtained from the word from the formula of mass form when we are the words that mass form, you know we say mass form is called molar mass and is what? Molar conk. So when we rearrange it, molar mass is not what? Mass conk of B. Of B. All over what? Molar what? Molar conk. By now you should have known what is molar mass conk. Constitution of what? Of substance in gram per DNQ. Constitution of what? Of substance in mole per what? DNQ. So now, what is the word? Constitution of what? Of being moved by DMQ. We've already obtained that. This is constitution of what? Of being gram per DMQ, which is 5.0. So the constitution of what? Of this in mole per DMQ, which is molar constitution, is 0 0.0175. Equal to what? What do we have? So what is our answer? So, so that we can get our what? Volume of what? So that we can get our molar mass. So we can quickly what? Press this one, calculate of 5.0 divided by 0 0.0175. This is 2.285 gram per mole. Gram per mole. The unit is very, very important. Gram per Right, very good. Per mole. Gram per mole. Gram per mole. So that's the unit of molar mass. Gram per mole. So that's that about that capsule. So we can print out the, the molar mass of B 285.71 gram per DM. So then the next one is to calculate the value of x calculate the value of x calculate the value of x so to calculate the value of x since we are cutting the word the molar mass just equate this word this molecular mass the molecular word formula this molecular formula equate this molecular formula to what molecular mass equate this molecular formula to molecular mass so we have to go for now this one I've got three that we uh, we just done. So we have what? We have the word Na2, which is a molecular formula of B. Na2CO3 dot XH2O equal to 285.71. 285.71. So that is that about the word. How to go about it. So and then. You solve it. You know that the, word, the atomic mass, you'll be given the atomic mass of each element. Atomic mass of sodium is 23, that of oxygen is 16, that of carbon is 12, that of hydrogen is what? One. Don't worry, you are not, you are not, you are not going to ask to give it off and it's going to be given to you in the exam. So we have what? 2 into bracket 23 plus 12. Plus 3 into bracket 16 plus now look at this. Don't make the mistake of what? Of saying this is only for, for hydrogen. X is for both hydrogen and oxygen. So you introduce a bracket. X into bracket. Now hydrogen is 1. 2 times 1. 2 times this 1. It will give you 2. Plus oxygen is what? It's 16. Brackets plus equal to 285.71. So that's that about that. So let's make a solve the formula. So first, we have to go 46 plus 12 plus 48 plus, and look at this x, 
then 2 plus 16 is going to give you 18 then 6 now 18 x equal to 285.71 so if I have for 6 plus 12 or 48 it's going to give what 108 108 106 so 106 plus 18 x equal to 285.75 so collect the right hand so by taking this one to the right side I have 18 x equal to what? 285.71 minus 106 so with this now we have a full comma here 18 x equal to 185 Point seven one minus one oh six. We have one seventy nine. One seventy nine point seven one. So we divide both sides by eighteen. Eighteen. So x x in other words, this one cancel out. Divided by eighteen. This is nine point nine. Eight. So this is the atomic mass is 9.98. The value of x are 9.98 approximately 10, which is very very correct. Approximately 10. Because x itself is supposed to be a decarhydrate according to the word instructional guide. So that is 10. So we can approximate it to 10 because this one is actually a whole number. So we can approximate it to what? The nearest whole number, which is 10. If I plot this one, so it's going to be 0, 10. So that's that. So now we have gotten the value of x. Now let's now calculate the percentage water of crystallization, which is the last one here, the percentage water of crystallization. Let me clean this off. Let me clean this off. The value of x has been calculated. The percentage water of crystallization, that is the last question I'm going to do now. So which is five. So percentage water of crystallization has to do with what the composition of water in the molecular mass of B. Now look at this: the molecular mass of B, the molecular mass or the molecular formula is going to be what ten H two O now. This is the molecular formula. So now you can say what is the percentage of water crystallization? This is what you are asking for. What is the percentage of this water crystallization? And how do you go about that? All you need to do is just say percentage water of crystallization is equal to now how many moles of water of crystallization do we have? We have 10. 10 moles of water. That is find the mole 10 moles, 10 times the molecular mass of water all over. The molecular mass, molecular mass of this compound, the molecular mass of this compound, please note that the molecular mass of this compound, which is n to CO3 dot 10 water, then you multiply it everything by 100. Percentage water of crystallization, which is percentage H2O, equal to 10 water over what? Over the molecular mass of what of this compound is 100. So if you want to go by this, I have to what percentage water of crystallization. If you go to the molecular mass of water will be 10 into brackets. Now the molecular water of water is 18, 2 plus 16. We get what 18, right? So we have what because this is 2 times 1, which is what 2 plus 16 is 18. So all over now. This molecular mass of this, just as we calculated it here, this one will be what, 46, 46 plus 12 plus what? Plus 48, which is what? Which is 106 plus 10 water, which is 180. So 106, 106 plus 180 gives you 286, which is this. 286. It's just that we are using 10 and not 9.8. So 286. So this is 286 times 100. Please get, you can calculate it out.
by getting to know that it's six, by just solving for molar mass and calculating this one by solving for its molar mass, you get 180 over 206 then times 100. So, therefore, the percentage order of crystallization is going to be 180 over 286 times what? 100. It's very, very essential you make like this. So, 180 divided by 286 times 100. So, we have 0 0.629 3 times 100. So we have 0 times 100 is going to be 62.93 percent. So that is the order of what? Stabilization. So we have come to the end of this class. So let me just write it here. So percentage order of crystallization is. 62.9 we want to leave it over, we leave it into 3 to the half. So that's the percentage of water of what to this matrix. So if this is the percentage of water of crystallization. So if you have any question, please do it or drop it in the comment section below. Or feel free to contact me and I will explain it to you. So we have come to the end of today's class. Please do not subscribe, please do not press the subscribe button and the description bell next to the update on this channel. Thank you for watching once again. God bless you. Amen.